Hey all my lovely jelly babes, thanks for coming back to my channel and a big hey if this is the first time you, you've seen my channel, thank you for coming and checking it out and I'd love for you to press that lovely subscribe button so we can stay in touch. So I said I would do a wear test on these Melody Susie um, one step gel polishes. So this hand had no top coat applied and this hand did. So if I just zoom in, you can see that there is um, chips on it and unfortunately this happened after only two days of wear. But in Melody Seuss's defence, I did do this after playing um, a game that's called the sock game. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but basically you're on your hands and knees, you have a pair of socks on, your opponent has a pair of socks on, and you basically wrestle with each other until you take um, their socks off. And, you know, I may have had a couple of... Uh, alcoholic drinks as well and I'm very competitive <laughs> so um, but this one this was the only nail that it chipped on and this lasted 10 days and I don't know why I thought this was going to just carry on lasting and I thought you know that just that extra layer of top coat would be enough but it chipped and I don't know why um, it is winter here in the UK so it's very cold so maybe I needed to give my hands a bit more TLC to look after them I mean I did put it on straight after doing in the swatches of these polishes as well um, I only left uh, left it a couple of days for my nails to repair and I, I'm not saying this to make up excuses I'm just thinking of reasons as, as to why uh, I know I've not been very well e e either recently sort of for the past month I've been sort of really under the weather I've got a lot of pain in my joints like my fingers and my wrists and my elbows and my knees so that might have absolutely nothing to do with it, but I'm, I'm mentioning it because those could be very, you know, plausible reasons as to why it's chipped so quickly. I do know other people are meant to be doing a wear test. I think Nona Philippa's meant to be doing a wear test, so hopefully she'll be putting that up soon if she hasn't done so by the time my video goes out. And maybe she'll get better results, but I just thought I'd mention those few things. Okay, so I am going to show you a removal process. So I'm still using these nail clips that I used pff, over a year ago. They're fantastic. Um, and this is the acetone that I use. It's a massive bottle. It's one litre, so it's Jolux. It's kind of what I've used from the beginning, really. And then I just get like a cotton pad and cut it. One pad you can cut up into four. And I just put them in, just like pour it into the acetone, like so. And just sort of squeeze off any excess. Because obviously acetone is very drying, so I don't, you know, want loads of it on my nails. So you just place that on your nail and place the clip on, and it's really as simple as that. So I've gone ahead and done it to the whole of the nails. Obviously I can only do one nail at a time, and I put a 15 minute timer on, and I'll come back when that's about to finish which is now <laughs> okay so there you can see it has been a 15 minute timer that's gone off and let's just see how these come off so you can use a metal or a wooden cuticle stick it's totally up to you I could feel them crackling underneath um, the clips it was really weird so you can see that it's already lifted quite a bit. I don't push down hard on the nail at all when removing. I kind of want the acetone to do it for it. So um, if I find that there's some stubborn bits like I'm getting, I always get it near the end of the nail. If it's not coming off with very little pressure, then I just sort of um, pick up the cotton pad and place it back on the nail and just let it soak for a few minutes more before I come back because obviously if you scrape excessively on your nail you're going to damage the nail bed which um, nobody's going to want to do. So I'll just show you another one okay so you can see that it does come off with the relative ease majority of it just lifts so I just find that I always have it a bit tricky at the end of the nail in case that bit doesn't want to come off. So I've just left it for probably about um, five minutes more maybe and you can see that that's just enough time for it to get those stubborn areas off your nail. Oops, missed a bit there. Okay, and that only literally had a little bit. So there you go. So look how dry my nails are. Acetone's terrible, isn't it? 
So my nails do need some massive TLC and I am using this Moira cuticle oil. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. I love it. It's really, really good. And this is available off Nail Artisan. This was sent for review, so I'll show you it in this video. And it's, oh, I wish you could smell it. It smells so gorgeous. And I've just tipped it on my floor. <laughs> all right, anyway, so you just wanna rub it in, rub it all into the side of the walls and your cuticles and over your nail bed, just to really get that moisture back into your nail. Cause we all know acetone is very drying to your nail bed. Okay, so you can see that a lot of that dryness has already um, gone away just by applying that oil. So this is the other hand, so this was the hand that had no top coat on. So again, I'm leaving it for the same amount of time. And again, you can see 15 minutes and I can't get my timer off. <laughs> okay. So will it be any more easier to remove without that layer of top coat? It definitely lifts a bit easier, even on the end where I get the stubborn areas. But again, I'm not forcing it. I'm just applying a little bit of pressure. Okay. I'm just gonna put that back on and then try this now. I mean, you can see that's almost pretty much just come off, hasn't it? And as well, no stainage either on the nail, which is really good. Bearing in mind you haven't put a base coat on. There's no stains on the nails. Okay, so this was the only one where I needed to put it on just for that little bit longer. And there you go. All off. And actually, I don't know why it didn't seem to sort of damage the nail bed as much when I just applied the two polishes. Um, and I'm going to go off and apply cuticle oil to these nails. Okay, so this is the end of the video. I am gutted really it didn't last as long. I really wanted it to last well. But I have given reasons as to why it could possibly have not lasted as long. But I mean, I'm quite happy with it lasting 10 days anyway with a layer of top coat. But this was my honest wear test. I hope that you appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming and checking it out. And until next time, take care, jelly babes. Bye.